Hi everybody, for the new episode of Influencers, I'm gonna take you in Bologna, Italy, where we're gonna visit the exhibition Street Art Banksy & Co. Today I'm gonna meet you with one of the curators of the exhibition, Cristiano Modeo, who's gonna explain us a little bit more about the concept, the idea and the content of the exhibition. Follow me, we're gonna have a closer look of what is happening inside. Hi, my name is Christian. I'm a freelance curator. I'm uh, the founder of Le Grand Jeu, a region-based agency specialized in urban art. I have studied art history at the university. I have a PhD uh, in, uh, in Paris at the University of paris -Lerbonne. and I have worked like a professor at the university for uh, some years before I decided to focus more on graffiti and street art. How you created the show and what is the, the what is the name of the show and what the show represents? The name of the show is uh, Street Art, Banksy & Co, uh, the Urban State of Art. Uh, we decided to call it Street Art and not Urban Art, uh, which would be like a better title, because in Italy people are speaking, are using street art uh, as a synonymous of urban art. And the exhibition is speaking about this point. How can we speak about something that is born and used to be normally in the street, uh, inside the museum, mm -hmm. uh, without transforming it. The museum takes something, but it gives also something. What is the concept of, the, of your exhibition? The concept of, uh, of the exhibition is to explain the history of uh, writing, mm -hmm. of graffiti, and street art to people, not only to young people, but to everyone, mm -hmm. and to show that there are two ways of collecting uh, urban art, historically speaking. Uh, one way that consider these productions as art, so uh, searches for uh, artworks, and one way that is more interested by urban art as a culture, and so it's searching for objects. What kind of object would be... Uh, what do you have there? For example, wallpaper mm -hmm. uh, that comes from a Bologna apartment that were uh, asleep some of the most important graffiti writers in the history of Bologna. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other side, we have the, a collection of tags coming from Paris, collected by AREC. This collection can allow you to have an overview of uh, like two or three generations of graffiti writers from Paris. Uh, lots of these names um, have not had uh, an artistic activity. Mm -hmm. So if you look only at the art market, you... You will never find something. Yeah. When you look at one of these panels, for example, from Paris, you imagine the graffiti writer that has been arrested because he was tagging, then you imagine the fact that someone uh, would like to buff to, uh, to cancel it because it, it was dear, then you imagine someone that went to the street and tried to take the piece mm -hmm. and get arrested also because it was like make vandalism taking a piece from the uh, street. Uh, you have like all the story of, the, of this culture in, in an object. Yeah. You don't have it normally on a canvas. What is clear to all the people that study the history of art restoration is that photographies, videos and paper documentation is not enough. When you look at photos of tags, mm -hmm. you are seeing tags. When you look at real tags, you are seeing ink. Mm -hmm. And also we want to call everyone in the, in the world, I mean artists, curators, people working inside the academia, collectors, galleries, to, keep, to think about this problem. What are we showing inside these spaces? If we want to be objective, we have to speak also about things that have no value on the art market. We have, uh, I think, also a different value. Because uh, these objects, these histories are, are part of what human art is. Would you, would you give me a short background on the, on the museum as a space? Palazzo Pepoli uh, is the museum of the city of Bologna. It's part of Genus Bologna. Mm -hmm. 
which is a, a private foundation financed by the Bank of Bologna. They have uh, decided also to work on uh, street art because street art is starting to be perceived as heritage today. Who is the, the co-curator of um, yeah. your partners in, the, yeah. in this exhibition and how did you get in yeah. touch with them and how did you organize and share the, the, the profit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alors, the co-curator of the show is Luca Ciancamilla, mm -hmm. uh, who is an art historian like me. Uh, but I am focusing more on urban art and he is focusing more on the history of restoration of art. He, he was interested about street art in Bologna and he was um, thinking about the fact that a lot of walls uh, have been erased without really a debate. It's new. So do we have to restore street art or not? Normally it's 50-50. Half of them want to... Some artists want to be restored, mm -hmm. some artists not. Some followers of street art uh, who like to see some pieces restored, some others not. What is important is to continue to go in the street and, and do uh, new stuff. Mm -hmm. Continue is vandalizing. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> what did you show in this exhibition? The exhibition is on three floors. We have decided to separate, for me, for example, uh, writing, graffiti mm -hmm. from street art. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the ground floor is the what I, we have called the painted city. Mm -hmm. We are focusing on the 2000 street art, showing uh, how something that was considered graffiti has become something that we actually call street art. And the first room is uh, totally devoted to rats. Mm -hmm. um, not only Black Lara and Banksy, but also some other examples. Mm -hmm. People come to the exhibition thinking about, about street art like a, a nice thing, like a decorative thing colored with a lot of uh, beautiful, uh, you know, something amusing. Yeah. I would like to show from the beginning, and Luca was uh, agree with me, that we are the rats of society. We are not the good part of society. We are not in the streets to make the, the city beautiful. We want to, like the French say, déranger. We are here to destroy everything. We are explaining that the idea that they have about street art is totally wrong. The first floor is totally devoted to, uh, to tag, mm -hmm. to tags and writing on walls. We have called it the, uh, the written city. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea was to have uh, like a paleographical approach. And uh, also it was important for us to explain to people what tag is, because tags are the starting point of urban art. People collecting street art, people that love graffiti, but they hate tags. I mean, during the opening, they, were, uh, they told me that there were like some old people, you know, inside this room and they were like losing their equilibrium. On the second floor is totally devoted to New York. Uh, because New York was the, uh, the place where uh, this culture uh, were born. And we have had the chance, also thanks to the uh, Sean Corcoran, which is the curator of the graffiti collection of the New York uh, City Museum, to have the possibility to have the part of the one collection. One collection is very important because it's one of the rare graffiti public collection in the world. And the other thing that is important is that all around the exhibition and the museum we have also like the Bolognese section because we have invited some of the most important artists coming from this urban art community. After the Bolognese and the own collection, what comes next? It's what I call, with a very uh, awful name, original graffiti from Europe. The, the general idea when we speak about uh, graffiti, we, we think that uh, Jan has started to write on the walls in, uh, in Europe when the young side has discovered films like uh, uh, Style Wars, Wild Style or Orbit Street. Uh, it's not true. At the end of, of the 70s, for example, in Amsterdam, but a lot of young punk were writing on the walls, choosing their own street name. What is your opinion and what, what, what is your vision about taking the object of street art and graffiti into the museum? I think that it's the time to speak about the general problem. 
and to invite people to express their opinion. I want to discuss about this point because it's a main point. Six months ago, no one was thinking about the problem of Oh guys, uh, graffiti are now heritage. How can we do? I, I do not think that artists were painting in the streets thinking about, about the fact that perhaps in two, three, five, ten years there will be someone asking to take down the wall to carry it to a museum or something like that. They were not thinking about it. Now they have to think also about these things. That it's like, from a certain point of view, it's a weird situation. I mean, it's, it's strange because we have to deal not only with Vandal Squad, but also with museum creators. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>